oh hey you guys so welcome to my beauty room i haven't made a video in what seems like forever so i figured i would kind of ease my way back into youtube and kind of show you guys my makeup collection this video has been requested several times and i finally actually have the time to organize my makeup room so i figured oh, why not so when you first walk in you see my filming slash selfie space this is where i film all my tutorials my go-to area if i need some bomb lighting all that good stuff i usually have my gold backdrop up since it kind of matches my cute little wall art but i switch it up from time to time um, on my desk here, I just have my little Kevin Aquan makeup book. I never really go through and read it, but I mean, it looks cute. So it's kind of just more like one of those coffee table books that nobody actually reads. Um, over here, I have this super cute giant mirror. Again, I rarely actually use this since it's kind of like distorts everything, but I mean, it looks really pretty. So, you know, has to be there. <laughs> So moving on to the best part of the room, we have my vanity over here, um, the actual lighted mirror I got from Vanity Girl Hollywood. I'll link that down below for you guys. I got that a couple years ago. Um, and then all of the drawers and countertop and everything is from Ikea. I believe it's like the Alex drawers and I don't remember what the tabletop was called. So I'll make sure I link those down below for you guys. But I just really like to kind of leave out all of my cute little liquid lipsticks. It just looks really nice and organized. Um, so I just have some of my Jeffree Star lips in here. Um, I've got some Kylie Cosmetics. Um, I think I've got some Anastasia in there as well, as well as um, a couple different brands kind of mixed in. I love this little organizer. It's so cute. I feel like I need more of them though because I'm, I still feel very unorganized and it bothers me. <laughs> And then I also keep my go-to liners over here as well, um, which I also got that little thing off of Amazon as well. Then I've got my dirty ass brushes chilling over here in this adorable little mug I made, which I was so proud of that, you guys. So over here, I have my little makeup box. I like to keep my clean beauty sponges in this little container. Um, and then I also have some hair products up here, just stuff that's either new or stuff that I've been loving, like this dirty spray from IGK I am obsessed with. It's the bomb. Um, in the first drawer here, I have all of my mascaras, which I had to toss out a ton of these because they were disgusting and like way past the three month discard date, like years past, if you know what I mean. I'm surprised I never got some serious like eye fungus or whatever it is you get from old mascara but anyways I have a bunch of different ones in here I've got some high-end and drugstore I don't necessarily prefer one over the other I mean they all basically do the same thing oh get back over here little man but yeah I don't really have a favorite mascara or anything and then over here I have all of my liners in this drawer these are liners that I usually don't normally use or they just didn't fit in my little liner organizer over here I have all of my paint pots my cream liners individual shadows all that kind of stuff the ones that I normally reach for the most will be kind of towards the front so I have like all of my Mac paint pots um, I have my Kylie cream shadow I've got some dip brows in here all that kind of stuff um, and then I also have some color pop shadows in here as well which are like five bucks each they're amazing and then I also have some like L'Oreal individual shadows all that stuff I usually keep all of like my, my brighter colors towards the back since I'm more of like a nude kind of go-to gal so all my nudes are more towards the front and then I've got these kind of fun colors back here Then I just have my little tool drawer. I've got this eyelash applicator by Sephora, which makes it so easy to apply lashes. I've got some lash glue, scissors, tweezers, all that kind of stuff. Next is my lipstick drawer. I don't really use a whole lot of these in here, but I have so many that they just kind of needed their own individual space. Um, I normally keep most of my favorite lipsticks in their little lipstick organizers and whatnot. So these are just kind of the extras that I have laying around or colors that I don't normally use on a daily basis. I've got some OCC Lip Tars, I've got some NARS, um, I've got some Too Faced, so just kind of a bunch of random various brands in there. The bottom drawer here is just all of my face and eyeshadow primers. I've got some Becca, Laura Mercier, um, I've got some Makeup Forever, 
just a bunch of different ones. A lot of these I just use for like freelance work and whatnot. This hourglass veil has been like my go-to favorite primer recently. So over on top of this drawer, I have some more organizers filled with some of my ColourPop eyeshadows. Um, below that, I have some of my loose pigments and glitter. Oh, need to need to fix that little guy. Otherwise, it's going to bug me all day. It's my mother's OCD kicking in. <laughs> and then I have my cute little lipsticks over here. Most of these are Gerard Cosmetics. I love how cute little gold bullets are. They were like the first lipsticks I bought when I first really started getting into makeup. So I have a bunch of those. I also have some various MAC and other brands in there as well. And then in this first drawer here, I just have a bunch of my nail polishes and various tools. I swear I used to have so many more nail polishes, but I feel like nail polishes for me are kind of like bobby pins. Like they just randomly disappear and you don't really know why. And then underneath that, I have all of my hairbrushes, um, various tools and whatnot. I've got a little sock bun here, which I mean, who wears a sock bun anymore? <laughs> I've got some bobby pins, ponytails all that jazz and then underneath that I have my eyelash drawer which is so empty normally I have so many but it's literally I have like none right now I just have a bunch of my little Ardell's which I'm obsessed with below that I have all of my freelance foundations any kind of complexion stuff that doesn't really match my skin tone all of this normally just goes right into my freelance kit when I do weddings and whatnot Next, I have my special effects slash Halloween drawer. This has just like a bunch of different face paints, bright eyeshadows. I've got some spray glitter here, um, some glue, liquid latex, fake blood, contacts, all that jazz just kind of gets tossed into this drawer here. So then right below that, I have my weave drawer, which is normally where I keep all of like my hair extensions and everything. But since I'm wearing my extensions today, I just kind of have some fake bangs and some stragglers hanging out in there. So yeah, nothing too special. And then below that, I just have some various uh, bags and makeup stuff. I don't know, mirrors, randomness. <laughs> And then below that, I just have some more hair products. So in this drawer, it's just kind of stuff that I never really use because I normally don't do anything with my hair. I'm super lazy when it comes to my hair. I usually get done with my makeup and then that's about it. So I just have some different like texturizing sprays and heat protectants, all that good stuff. Below that, I have all of my cleaning supplies. So I've got some wipes, Windex, some sponges, eyelash wands, anything that I might need like tool-wise or to clean up since I'm super freaking messy. So then coming over here, I have my little Kim Kardashian book because, you know, I mean, her makeup's always on point. So if I ever need a little bit of inspiration, I can kind of flip through that. And, you know, there's some some nudes in there too if you ever want to you know feel terrible about your body <laughs> kidding but not really kidding and then so in this first drawer here I keep all of my makeup wipes brush cleaners um, makeup removers a few tools whatnot just kind of like miscellaneous miscellaneous am I saying that right I don't know <laughs> just stuff that I might need on a daily basis or stuff that's just easy to grab I also have a little face shaver, you know, in case the brows or maybe even the stash is being a bit pesky that day, you feel me? <laughs> and then underneath that, I have kind of just a random drawer with some brow products. I've got some setting sprays in here. Um, I keep my little business cards in here as well in case I ever need to reach for them. I have like a million. And then I also just have some more like brush cleaners in here. Um, I have some beauty blender cleaners. I've got some extra beauty sponges because I have like a trillion and that's pretty much it for that drawer. Underneath there, I have my airbrush makeup kit, which I've literally maybe used twice in the past like three years. Um, it's just kind of messy and I can never figure it out and it just 
just drives me nuts. And then I also have a little Minnie Mouse collection kit over here that I bought for my niece. I mean, she's two, but I figured she could use it someday, right? I don't know. I'm an overly obsessed aunt. What can I say? This store here is just a bunch of random products that I either don't use or that I got um, in gratis from Sephora. Basically, just stuff that I either don't really use or doesn't have a home yet. I'll just toss in this drawer here. So I have just like some face masks. I've got some skincare, primers, color correctors, a bunch of random stuff in there. Um, in this bottom drawer here, I have all of my hair tools. So I've got like my blow dryers, my curling wands, flat irons, um, all that jazz. Nothing too special there. Then moving on, don't ask me why, but I literally can never get myself to throw away any kind of packaging or receipts. Like I can always convince myself that I'll need it at some point and so I save it, but it literally just sits here in this bin. Like I have zero purpose for it, truly. Like I hope this isn't the start to a hoarding disorder because those people are way too cry cry for me. Over in this top drawer here, I keep some of my go-to products, um, any like new stuff I bought, as well as a lot of my highlighters, because let's be honest, those are always go-to products. Um, other than that, I just have some like concealers, uh, beauty sponge, basically anything that I would use on an everyday type basis. Um, I just got the burgundy palette from Kylie Jenner, so that guy is in there, which I have been loving lately those are like my colors i also have this cute little highlight slash blush duo from mac that i just got as well as um, some foundations that i wear on a normal basis so that's pretty much it for that guy underneath there i have the mother load of foundations again this is one of those things that i just keep convincing myself that i need more of and then it just winds up in my drawer of 50 foundations and yeah that's about it. Yes, I admit I have a little bit of a makeup problem. Sue me, you know. I also keep some of my powders, concealers, um, any other complexion products that I might use in here. I have my airspun powder, which has kind of been my go-to lately since I ran out of my Laura Mercier. Um, and then just other various loose powders in here as well. Next, I have my blush slash bronzer drawer. I need to get more of these cute little organizers. They're just so convenient and it looks so organized and it's just good for my soul. <laughs> but I have different various brands in here. I've got some MAC, Sephora Collection, um, NARS. I've got a few different Milani blushes. Um, those are kind of like my go-to drugstore blushes. I'm obsessed with them. Um, I have a couple do the hulas. I bought one and then I got one free in my gratis. So if anyone wants one, hit me up because I don't really use it that often. <laughs> and then I also have my Jeffree Star highlighters in here because they're huge and they don't really fit anywhere else. Um, and then I have some liquid illuminators in the back here, some color correctors, um, just any kind of, you know, shimmery face stuff. Then I have my eyeshadow palette drawer. I've got the Beauty Killer palette by Jeffree Star. Um, I have this one by Suva Beauty, which is like a ton of really fun, bright colors. I got that one for my birthday. Um, I've got the Carly Bible palette, um, which I don't really use that much. And then I also have the Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette. I've got the Master Palette by Mario by Anastasia. Um, that one I use a lot. Just kind of like a really nice neutral palette. Um, let's see here. I've got my Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadows, which most of mine shattered. So the ones that I saved, I tossed in there. I have the Naked Ultimate Basics Palette, which I got for free, which is amazing. It's like a really, really nice pigmented matte shadow palette which I feel like everyone needs and then I also have the browns palette by Kylie which I used like non-stop for a good two or three months got some more makeup geek um Too Faced I have a million different morphe palettes honestly if you guys haven't tried any morphe products you need to get on it they are amazing 
that's where I get a lot of like my brushes as well. You should seriously check them out. I think the majority of their products, well, palettes at least, are like $25. So they have some really fun bright colored ones. They also have more neutral colored ones. Just get on it. You you will not regret it. I promise you. You can thank me later. <laughs> Um, this was actually the first eyeshadow palette that I ever bought was the Amrizi palette by Anastasia. I got that like three, three and a half, maybe four years ago, but that's kind of what started my makeup obsession. And then in this bottom drawer here, I have all of my face palettes. So this one here is kind of like either my go-to um, or like random individual palettes that I put into a little Z palette there. I bring that for a lot of like weddings and whatnot. And then I've got this little blush palette by BH, also really good for freelancing. I've got a couple different concealer and color correcting palettes here. Again, I have the Shade and Light palette by Kat Von D, which is destroyed. I have the Becca Cosmetics Champagne Collection Glow, whatever you would call it. And then I have the Moonchild palette by Anastasia, which is incredible. These colors are so pretty. It's like unlike any highlighters I've ever used. So much fun. And then I have some of these just kind of random contour kits back here. Um, I've got another Morphe palette. I think this one's like a little lip palette. They sent me this one too. I don't think I've ever used it, but I should put that in my freelance kit. I feel like that would be a good idea. <laughs> And then, let's see here, I have more Morphe palettes, of course. I have the Becca Champagne Collection, like the first one that she came out with, and more contour kits, all that jazz. And that's basically it for my vanity, kind of all of my makeup collection over there. Over here, I have my little lone wig. <laughs> I eventually want to grow my wig collection as well. This one I got from Wig is Fashion, and it's amazing quality, so I'll probably get a few more from them. And it was only like $60, and it was literally amazing. I wore it for Halloween, and I'm obsessed, so hopefully I'll get a couple more of those. Um, I have my cute little sparkle sign over here, and then I have this little chest that I just kind of store all of my backdrops in. And that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I'll be sure to link down below in the um, description box where I got all of my furniture and organizers, lighting, all of that good stuff if you guys are interested. But thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.